Thanks very much for staying with us. Now, many people currently self-isolating due to the coronavirus. It can be an overwhelming experience at times. International best-selling author and spiritual teacher Lorna Byrne is here to share us and tell us how people can use their spirituality to help cope with fear and anxiety. Lorna, so nice to see you today, and especially for people who can't get out to mass even, you know, their usual routines and how they connect with whomever they believe in, whatever they believe in, it's very testing for them. I, I know it's very, very testing. I, I have to smile because, um, you know, when my daughter told me that you were looking for me to come on the show, um, I said yes, because the angels had said yes straight away. I was to go to help to give people hope, and yet my family were against it. But I'm here because people need to what would I say, connect spiritually to know that they're not alone. Um, because within us, it brings out more love and more compassion. And you see that today. We're seeing people having more goodness in them and caring for others and, and being responsible. And all that's very important. But I got a lovely message from a young woman and she was in a state of panic mm -hmm. over this coronavirus mm -hmm. and her grandparents because she was so afraid for them and terrified for herself. She said, everything I'm hearing on the news and everything is frightening me. And she just said, I found you on YouTube. And she just cut the story short. She said, I felt calm because now I know I have a guardian angel. Seemingly she never knew, and that's what we have to remember. There's millions of people out there that don't know they have a guardian angel. And she said knowing that and knowing she's not alone and knowing her grandparents aren't alone either. So seemingly she rang them and told them they had a guardian angel and they weren't worried, you know, and it just gives, you know, peace and calmness. And, yeah. and it's lovely to see people reaching out to others. I've, just like yourselves, just heard so many stories of goodness, of well, kindness. People, people are pulling together, and I think that's the only way we yeah. can get through this, is to pull together. And we've had you on the show many times about talking about your, the angels and guardian angels. But at this time, people's faith and their own faith, no matter what it yeah. is, yeah. It has to be so important and you, it's something that you must cling on to. It is and, and we, we have to really cling on to it because in, in a sense, you know, when, when we're in this situation we feel there's nothing else. But faith gives us strength and courage and it gives us hope and it brings, you know, all the goodness out and takes away <clears throat> our fear because we are very fearful. But one thing the angels are telling me um, from the very beginning was, you know, Lorna, do exactly as you're being told to do. Wash the hands, mm -hmm. you know, don't be going up close to people. All the thing, all the advice we're getting. And we're going to get through this because this is what they keep telling me. We're going to get through this. And I keep on praying and asking, well, please let us get through it as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. And. I can see that we're getting through it. And I, I know some, some people are kind of maybe negative about it, but our faith gives us strength and gives us hope. Can I ask you, Lorna, then about people who would sort of say maybe don't have faith and just going, well, look at if there was a God up there, why is he doing yeah. this on us? Why is he putting this on us? Yeah. Why is he putting this misery yeah. on the world? And so there isn't a God and it's an excuse for them to sort of go, how can there be? I know we all say that, like everybody I think at different times in their lives will say that because of something that has happened. But God didn't give us this virus. You know, we, we have to look at all of the good and all of the positive things. We can't keep on blaming God for, for everything. You know, everything in a sense is in our hands as well. It's in our hands, this virus, to to find the solution to it, to keep it at bay for, for it to go. And I know we can do it. And God is there to give us the, the support, the spirituality within us. We're not just, you're not just a human being sitting there, here talking with us. You know, you're a spiritual being as well. You, you have a soul, you know, and that is just looking at you is full of light and just seeing your guardian angels me looking here and looking at you and, and seeing your guardian angel. And that is our faith, you know, knowing, knowing that there is something more to life and knowing that life is well worth living. 
and recognizing all of our blessings that we have, all the good things around us. Like there's loads of good happening today because people have faith, because people believe and they know in their own hearts and souls that we are going to get through this. Um, and in one way, there's no answer to that question mm. because that's said all the time. A parent will say when their child gets sick why? or why, mm. you know, why did God let this happen? But our human bodies aren't perfect and our human bodies get sick and get old, mm. you know, get aches and pains, all, all things like that. Is there an opportunity in this time when there's this stillness, I guess, where we are mm. taking a break from normal life, normal routines, mm. to connect in a way that I, we may never yes. have done before? Yes, and I think loads of people are, are connecting in that way. One thing, the angels have taught me everything through nature. And this happening is getting people out into nature. Oh, totally. I mean, and more hundreds aware. of thousands of people are getting, yeah. out walking every yeah. day. And but they're coming more aware of the beauty of nature around us. And even though this horrific thing is happening, there's so many good things out of it. Even within nature, in, in nature rivers are becoming clearer, you know, there's more growth because we're not kind mm. of, say, digging it all up or, or doing things that we shouldn't be doing, you know, and just just seeing um, children and everything connecting back to nature. Like if you're at home and you can't go into work and you have an hour or two, and if you have a garden, go out and ask your guardian angel to help you to nourish a plant, something that is starting to grow. See, see the life and know that life is going to come back to normal again but we'll be different. I'm, I'm being told by God and the angels, we're going to be different. Our attitude is going to be different. We are going to be more loving and compassionate and caring. And caring is sharing. And that is something that I see lots of people doing. Mm. You know, um, the other day I was out walking in my lane, you know, and it's, it's a bit narrow. So when someone is coming towards you and I just watched this family and there was this little girl and she kept on telling her granny, you know, you have to keep away from me, granny, you know, just a few feet because I want to keep you safe. And that's that's and the thing, that, isn't it? Keep, that, keep each other safe each other and safe. keep each other well. So and thank important. you so much for coming in this thank morning. You. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Still to come, we'll be hearing more about the cancellation of the Eurovision and we'll be getting active with a spot of yoga that you can do at home.